Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're doing a budget battle belt video today. So we just got these battle belts in, got a decent number of them, and we're gonna show you how to dress these up to look like any other high-speed battle belt, but for, the, but for the price of a used copy of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 at GameStop, which is like you know, 20, 30 dollars, I don't know, something around there. Anyways, let's, we'll show you how to do it. Alrighty, so we're gonna show you how to get this looking pretty nice. So you can see I've got some spray paint here with me. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna make it look cooler, we're gonna add some pouches to it, and then we're gonna show you what it'll look like, the functionality. What we're gonna do with this is I'm literally just going to spray paint this battle belt. If you haven't spray painted gear before, it works out great. I tend to like to do solid tones. It's probably a bit more effective. So uh, let's take this. I've got some tans here with me. We're gonna spray paint this tan, and then we're gonna add in some coyote pouches and show you what they inexpensive functional battle belt will look like. If you are wondering, I have this sand colored spray paint. I just picked this up from Walmart. It's a little bit lighter than what is on the cap, so just keep that in mind. So I'm gonna base coat it in that, and then I'm gonna do a top coat of this Marine Corps Coyote Brown that I have. I've got a little bit left in here. So if you're wondering, this is a Arvo Military Digital Camo Pattern Coyote Brown. Got this online somewhere a long time ago. It was like 12 bucks for the can, but I spray painted a lot of gear with this. And it's also perfectly like that peanut butter coyote brown. It looks fantastic with all that Marine Corps style stuff. So if you need a dark brown, this is perfect. Let's go out into the yard. We'll spray paint this and then we'll let it dry and then we'll show you what it looks like. And then we'll do a whole accessory thing and we'll add some accessories onto this guy. <laughs> all right, let's go. So a couple notes when you're doing this, um, you're not gonna you're not gonna want to spray the Velcro because the Velcro is gonna help keep things put together. If you spray paint it, it's not gonna lose it's gonna lose some of it. I'm just, wow, I'm just rambling. So a couple quick notes. Uh, make sure you don't spray paint the Velcro. It's gonna lose some of its stickiness if you do that. And then I'm not gonna really worry about the inside padding because nobody's gonna see that anyways. Um, and I don't really want it to get all crunchy and stuff. And the outside will be fine. So uh, we'll start with this light tan. We are back in from the yard. Fun fact, this is a separate day and I've worn the same clothes and our mic has died. We have a mostly dried battle belt here. You can see we spray painted it. 
I lied a little bit earlier when I said it's a perfect match to that Coyote uh, Marine Corps. As you can see, it's not, but I'm sure if my cameraman adjusts the sliders enough on the video, you'll never be able to tell. Never be able to tell. It still looks pretty good, and let's be honest, we're so low on price on this battle belt. Anyways, it doesn't really matter too much. Battle belt, boom. And luckily, we just got all these pouches in. So as you can see, we got all these pouches. I'm going to kit out this battle belt, and then I don't know what the price is yet because we haven't priced the items, but it should be really inexpensive. So let me put these pouches on, and you'll see what this amazingly priced belt and these amazingly priced pouches will get you. Here we are, we are back. Now you're probably wondering, did I pin wood or properly integrate the Molly webbing? No, I did not. I put it on there roughly to give you an example of what we're looking at. So here we are. Now, I can't give an exact price because these aren't up on the website yet. They will be soon, but um, except this nice multi-cam patch, we don't have these available. It's just giving you an example. Uh, so here you go, just a brief look. So again, very inexpensive. Gonna be really hard to beat most belts that are not gonna have nearly as much molly webbing or padding or high quality of construction are gonna be, you know, $100 to start. And then they're just gonna go off from there. So this is gonna be a really, really good price. So you can go and check these out. But if you are looking to start a battle belt or maybe you need to get your friends kitted up, they just bought an AR and you wanna give them a little something sweet for their birthday, have a fun little project to do on the side for you and buy a bunch of spray paint, this is great for you. There is a green spray paint that they sell at Walmart and Home Depot. It's like an actual camouflage spray paint and it's a darker green that looks just like Ranger Green. I 100% guarantee it because I've got a couple of these gray ACU pouches. I spray painted Ranger Green and put it on my Ranger Green Kafaroff plate carrier and it looks identical. You can like barely tell that there's a shade difference. So Ranger Green might be a better option. So guys, if you're interested in a great inexpensive battle belt with the pouches and all the fixins, check out our website, apexgunparts.com. I'll try to leave some links down in the description. So check us out on our website. These will be under our gear outlet. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.